Hello, welcome back to Sora Assist. Adam here, and today I'm going to be highlighting the top five budget MLS forwards for your consideration for next season. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, sign up, use the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. You can also check out my Patreon as well for regular scouting and SoraAssist.com. Okay guys, so as I say, today I'm going to be concentrating on the budget priced forwards in the American MLS. I've already, already covered the premium options and the mid price range options as well in terms of the forwards. And on previous videos right on this channel I've also covered the goalkeepers, defenders and midfielders, all players from the MLS. So do check them out if you are in the market for some American players come next season. Okay guys, so let's kick off then. And remember, as always, none of this content is financial advice, and always do your own research. So I'm going to be starting from five, making my way up to my number one pick in the budget category. So, coming in at number five, I've gone for Daniel Salau of Sporting Kansas City. He's only 26, he's got a really long contract as well with Sporting until December 2026. He's got an L40 of 51 and an L15 of 52. So in the last year, he started 32 games for Kansas, scored 7 goals and also got 4 assists. He's got an AA of 8.1 and an average of 49.8 over the last year. So he's certainly looking like a decent option in the budget category. So he comes in at number 5. So number 4 in the budget forwards is, is Mikael Ara of Philadelphia Union. He's just 28 and he's got a long contract as well with the Union until December 2024. So an L40 of 50, 54 and an L15 of 58. In the last year, he started 29 games, 7 sub appearances as well, but he scored 18 goals and also got 4 assists. He's also won 4 penalties as well over the last year. So an average of 53.5 and an all round score of 4.7. So this guy is so this guy is all about the goals, but as you can see, he's getting some assists as well and winning plenty of penalties. This guy is looking at certainly a good shout in the budget price range category. Although he is probably the most expensive budget player out of the ones that I've picked today. So coming in at number three, I've gone for Javier Hernandez of Los Angeles. He is 34 now, but he has got a contract till the end of next season with LA. He's had an on and off season really, he started off well, then he had a bit of a quiet spell, but then he finished the season banging in the goals, which is of course is what he's known for. So he's got an L40 of 58 and an L15 of 61. His L5 shows his current form at the end of the season of 66. So in the last year he started 34 games for LA and scored 22 goals. He's also got 3 assists as well and 1 penalty 1. He's got an all-round score of 7.7, .7, but we can be forgiven for that because he is known for his goal-scoring powers, and that's his job on the pitch. He's got an average of 58.1 over the last year as well, and I think that Javier Hernandez will want to finish with a bang next season and score plenty of goals. Who knows what the future holds for Javier Hernandez, maybe he'll want to continue for another season, but we do know that he has got a contract till the end of next season, and is certainly not showing any signs of slowing down, as you can see from his 22 goals in his last 34 appearances. So he's looking a really good option to me. Another good option, and coming in at number 2, is Raul Radiaz. Now he did have his injury issues this season, he's been on the injury table more than Darren Anderton in the 90s. Now he does play for Seattle, and he's got a long contract with them as well to December 2024. He's 32 now, but he's also a Peruvian international as well. If he can stay away from injury, I think he's going to be a fantastic asset in any team. So an L40 of 54 and L15 of 48. In the last year, he started 21 games, 5 from as a substitute, and he's scored 13 goals and also got 1 assist as well, and 1 two penalties. As you can see from his score graph, there's been a few spells of being out of the team through injury. I hope he can put these injury concerns behind him, behind him come next season and do what he does best, and that's scoring the goals. He's got an average of 51.7 over the last year as well, and I think he's looking like a decent punt. So coming in at number one, my top pick for the budget MLS forwards is none other than Johnny Russell. He plays for Sporting Kansas City. He's 32 now, but he has got a contract till the end of next season. 
So an L40 of 55 and an L15 of 52. Now I can't say it's been the best season for Johnny Russell, but he's still the captain of Kansas City. He has been playing well, but he's just not been scoring or assisting as many goals as he did the season before, when he was one of the best forwards in the MLS and potentially on the platform. So I wouldn't bet against him scoring more and assisting more next season. The Sporting Kansas can improve on their form of this season. So in the last year, Johnny Russell has started 37 games, scored 13 goals and has also got two assists. He's got a decent l round score of 11.8 and an average of 55.8 over the last year as well. If we look at the full score graph, this is going to tell the few, full picture of when he was on absolutely fantastic form in the 2020 one season. As you can see, it was on absolutely brilliant form, scoring plenty of 90s, 100s and things like that. This is when Kansas City were having a better season. This season has not been the best for them, so they can improve their form and I think the captain of the club, Johnny Russell, is going to be the beneficiary of that. So I think he's looking a really good option at these sort of price points. So that was my top 5 budget American MLS forwards for your consideration if you are looking to dip into the MLS market. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget that I've already covered the premium options and the mid-priced options in the MLS as well, so to cover all budgets. So do check the videos right on this channel if you've not seen those already. And don't forget to check out my Patreon as well for regular scouting on there and services.com. And of course, if you're not signed up to Surrey yet, sign up using the link below to get a free limited card and 13 common cards. Okay guys, thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you again soon.